They've never got together. There's no. There, there's never going to be a marriage between Apple and the other people because Apple is a walled garden, and the gatekeepers do not let anybody else in. So, what works here will not work here, and the majority of the stuff is here. Mm -hmm. But because people have all of this stuff, what happens is, uh, it's like the people with the blackberries. The black people with the blackberries almost had a stroke when the blackberries went down for a week. Um, and the people, when they have problems here, have strokes. Here, you just expect nothing to work. That is the difference between the Android people and the Apple people. We have no expectations that anything is going to function over here. When we go to the people at LG, you know why your cell phone doesn't work right? Because the cards in them are, are class twos. And in order to make it function right, you actually have to have a class, what is it, six and above? Yeah. And they didn't. We didn't know that. Well, they should have known it. But that's how it works in the the uh, Android smartphone world, folks. It's no, really, but that would apply to, actually, it's, it's everything, that. every but, piece you know, of, part of it, it, well, it's just because you're shooting 3D. And in high def, and doing sound high recording. high def on a class two and a sound recording. Yeah, yeah, sound recording did not work It's on a just class a two. lot of data. Because even on a, okay, we'll tell you, even on a camera yeah. or a video camera, the class two chips don't work with high def. Yeah, and or if they do, you've got shorter video, yeah. a lot shorter. <clears throat> what happened was they basically put a thing out on all the stores. You have to have a class ten, like a, a class ten for the Motorola Zoom changeover. Every class ten that you could ever find is They're gone. They're all bought. They're gone. I mean, so we got a we got a Zoom chip over in the, in her Android phone at the moment. I thought it was actually back where it belongs in the Zoom, but we did it because we couldn't find anything. And it'll work with it, but um, I've managed the jury rig it so I've got better sound recording now. I mean, I'm actually recording an hour or so at a time, but it really is heavy. But like I said, you know, making a conclusion, the problem with digital Hollywood is the same problem over CE. There's nobody, I mean, there's no one there. There's just totally, it's just a total and absolute <laughs> war okay. between Okay, so here's lines. digital Hollywood, which is represented by Apple, here's Android represented by CE. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Right? Yeah. They're in different roads. They just told me they're, they're but getting... they're all trying to work with the consumer from their different angle. Yeah. But you're always going to have that, whether it's the the workers of a company and the owners of the company. Yeah. Right? The, the people, the okay, there's a total disconnect between the people that are doing the work and the people that are upstairs, other than the fact they tell the same jokes. But they'll tell you. But uh, they'll tell you things, well, yeah, anything you do over here can be seen over here, but anything you do here can't be seen there. And they say, what do you mean anything? Well, yeah, it's just anything. You can get stuff that will show your pictures and videos over here. Because, hey, folks, this is QuickTime. What can this do? Mm -hmm. It can watch QuickTime. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? You mean I my QuickTime videos over here will work here? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, will my, uh, will my MPGs? Who may have it? No, I have it. Well, AVI is like flash. Might, uh, yeah, flash won't, but an AVI will work over here if it's been done through uh, a QuickTime thing. And they say, oh, really? And your MPEGs, if you optimize them through QuickTime, you can do it. But who wants to convert everything over? You should just be able, like the guy said, you take this one, do this with it, everything should move back and forth. It doesn't. There is. The wall garden sets in between. There is no wall garden on the Android side. There is here. And the gatekeeper does not let anyone in but his selected people over here. Well, the gate, there's no gatekeeper over here. God awful, there's no gatekeeper at all. I mean, there's no standard for anything over here. Uh, you know, they said, they say, you mean, you want to you put a porno app with a girl, you know, with a, you know, somebody dressed as, uh, as Shirley Temple, and they think it's a little Shirley Temple. And I say, okay, that's cute. And then you know, come along. Oh my God, that's not Shirley Temple. I think that's Veronica Hart. Who's that? That was a porn actress. <laughs> you know, you know. I didn't know. Her. I didn't know she did. No, that's not. That is Veronica Hart, isn't it? I thought. Wasn't that? Why did she dress like Shirley Temple and Rebecca Sunderbrook Farm? Well, I think it was Rebecca of Sunderbrook Farm. But uh, that's the difference here. The gatekeeper does not allow anything in that they do not 
first and you approve them. When they say they go over this stuff, they, they look at it. They're looking mm -hmm. over your shoulder. You can't, you know, sometimes slip through because what happens is the end, some of the app makers have been slip through things because what happened was they couldn't control the fact that the app might take them to a spot that takes them somewhere else. So they put it in the, um, in the, in the, in the thing that the, your app may not take you to any place else other than what the app was created for. So you can, I don't think you can have on the page that it goes to a link to another site to move you elsewhere. Yes. It's only to, I mean, my friend, I can't show you the page, but actually we go, if you're selling plates, and your app takes you to a place that sells the plates. That app cannot further take you to a place that's selling you vegetables to use in obscene manners on the plate. Okay. That's how it works. So, um, two people heading towards the same direction on basically on the same highway. Mm -hmm. But they, you know, and they're, they're going like this, you know, one pulled ahead, one back, head back, head back. They're hitting the same bumps in the road. Every, the difficulties are exactly the same for both systems. The, you know, it's the same for the producer, the content, the same for the, the people that handle content. They're all going through the same problems at the same time. Yet all of them are looking over one another's okay. The, he's not scared of these people, he's not scared of this person because they know they're basically comparable. It's, you know, there we go. It's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's the dark one. It is the one that you can... Actually, you can be the dark girl. Okay, here we go. Look what's coming up behind us. They're always watching behind to see what's behind them. Because it's that the one they the don't scarier. know about yet. It's the one they don't know about. It's the one the kids were talking about. This is the this is the 800 pound gorilla. They don't the know horse. what this one is doing. They don't know. This what one. Gonna bring. This one could all of a sudden break the system over here. Mm -hmm. This one is open. He could break the system here. Created the thing that basically explains it right there. Does this between the two? He becomes a bridge between the two, and guess who becomes the power player for a while? Mm -hmm. The bridge between the two. What happens is Apple will then go back like this, and they'll, they'll change the system, and then he'll fall back like this. But if you look closely, what's happened? This one won't go back because this one doesn't. Th that, that reminds me of the battle with the Apple computer. Yeah. Because Apple computer was always a closed system, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and then the PC pulled ahead because it was open, and you mm -hmm. could have a lot more things to that That's got developed right. for it. But because most people, I mean, the Apple system basically is really hard because it is a closed system. It's hard to put um, viruses on stuff. So, so eventually, this one will once again pull up, and they'll start jockeying back and forth. But as they're doing this. We have Mr. I don't know what's coming up behind me moving right back up behind him again. Mm -hmm. So what happens is why they never get from point A to point Z is because every time they get like there, somebody does this, this falls back. Then this one, this one is no longer necessary and they move forward. When he moves forward, this falls back. And then he starts to move up, they fall back a little, catch up, and then guess what happens? They can never get to Z. This is why you never get to Z. It's because of the unknown quantity. And you, and the unknown quantity is the, it's why if these people would just simply do this, you eliminate this. Except for the fact that the, uh, the unknown quantity will then become somebody building a better mousetrap. And then what happens is he comes up like that, and then the marriage is broken again. Mm -hmm. Because these people will then try to figure out how to screw these people. You see, these people can't screw anybody. They're an open source. The only one that has the power to screw is this guy, is Apple. Mm -hmm. Google doesn't. Google is Android. Mm -hmm. Google, does, Google is an open source because Google is like um, is an open version of Microsoft. Microsoft basically is sort of like a close... Microsoft, in fact, is sort of like a walled garden. They have a gatekeeper. But Microsoft will take the best from other people and use it. Google, Google lets other people design things for it and then put it on their system. Well, they, they're also entirely separate because Apple has the wall garden. Microsoft is wall, but they want people to participate. But they're focused on the software side. Yeah. This is focused on I, I would say everything. You, everything. This is really? like user experience. It's fun. It's cool. We'll take care of it. Just press the button. We'll turn it on. Yeah. Okay. Microsoft. 
Actually, I was going to say, we want to know everything about you. No, that's Google. They want to control things, but they're more focused on the software side yeah. and the application. Because they're not very good at hardware, which is funny. Mm -hmm. But um, let's see. Because they're... with the Apple, you get the hardware and the software. Yeah. This is mainly all software for Microsoft. And Google, well, it has been software, but now it's starting to come up with devices. Hardware devices, yeah. It's got its own, it's got its own tablet coming out. It's basically becoming an M MSO, which is a multi system operator. But mm -hmm. like I said, you got two sets of people coming up behind. One of them is the big monkey, which is. Which is Microsoft, which you're scared of because it has unlimited resources to tap. Totally unlimited resources to tap. And um, it basically, everybody knows these people started out working together. Mm -hmm. These people at Microsoft took the best they had. The operating system that Apple uses is a Windows form. They just took it, made it better, and made it simpler, mm -hmm. and put it, made it, put it over on IBM. So they're wondering, sooner or later, these people are going to come on something again because they have the unlimited resources to play with. These people basically are like they're an aggregator. They put everybody else together into one room, and then they, they let them create for them and don't give anybody any. They give them the ability to market what you have on their system. Actually, that reminds me of absolute aggregators because when we were talking about the set-top boxes, Right or the over the top when inter the connected TVs. Yep. He said that one of the biggest challenges was the aggregator or the one that collected all the data, because the person that knew all the data knew how to sell it, right? Mm -hmm. For the advertising. Okay, these people constantly get in trouble for having too much information. These people get it from you because you agree. If you want to use their stuff, you have to let them access your system. You can't do an update and that stuff unless they get control of your system for a while. So these are these are the big people. These this is the guy, you know, Microsoft. You got to worry about because it knows everything. It knows about these people because these people do business off of um, their systems all the time. It knows about these people because these people use this system all the time. But anytime that a person on an iPhone calls somebody over on a uh, smartphone, or anytime one of their computers sends an email to a tablet, you basically are feeding information to these people. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a neat thing? It used to be, these are examples of phones that company had knew everything about everybody. Now Microsoft knows everything about everybody. They're the ones you should be scared of. They're the ones that the people here are worried about coming up behind them more than they're worried about the dark, other dark horse. But it's but see, the trick is Microsoft looks behind it and wonders who's coming up behind me. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, and I think we've killed this thing completely to death. We're trying to, we're trying to put you two shows perspective what two sides have got. Like I said, it's got awful ridiculous thing. They're going in the same direction, and they're never going to get together. It just isn't going to happen. The only thing will happen eventually, which always happens, is somebody puts a bridge between two sides, but then the other one, this side will never try to force the bridge away because it's to its benefit. This side will always try to, to sink the other people. I mean, it's just like uh, um, the, let me try to finish it up. There was Scorpion asking a turtle if it could, um, you know, they had they had a swollen stream. He asked the turtle if he could, you, you know, you know, right across the stream on the bank, the other side, because his home was over there. And he said, okay, but he said, you promise not to sting me, don't you? And he said, well, absolutely. I mean, I drown if I stung you. Halfway across the river, the scorpion stings the, the turtle, and the turtle, but you promised me uh, you wouldn't sting me. And he said, well, I can never change what I am. They can't change what they are. Mm -hmm. These people are in a constant flux. These people are in a constant flux. This company has never changed. It is the same uh, narrow-minded wall garden today that it was when the company was created. There is no um, the, um, everything they do is company singular in mind. It is not for enhancing the customer experience, it's for enhancing the people's pocketbooks over here. Totally. And no, nothing else. They don't give a damn about customers. You think if they did, they'd have come out with a 4S? You think they'd have put a 4 out that basically had an antenna problem? They, they used to have a great customer experience, but like they, I read, you read the thing about Stephen Jones, it was all a joke. They wanted to make themselves look like the Walmart of the uh, 
the world. When at times they did, yeah, no, they, they said at times, but they, more people are battling with uh, with Apple all the time than ever was reported. It was a constant warfare between the people that purchased the merchandise. Just they killed it all. So, so I guess our the cell phone is telling us that it's time to end this bit. So until we have more discussion, we're going to have more on digital Hollywood and more on this as the time goes on. We have enough time. So this is old cam. This is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.montebubbles.net on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet. <laughs>